Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk to all of you guys who are manifesting a specific person about putting your specific person on the pedestal, or rather, how you can take them off the pedestal to make it easier on yourself to manifest them. As you probably know, and as you probably have heard, putting a specific person, or any desire for that matter, on the pedestal makes it harder to attain. So today, I want to give you a very, very easy, very simple method to start taking your SP off the pedestal if you indeed have them on a pedestal. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So as I said in my intro, the main reason why we don't want to put a specific person on a pedestal or any desire really is because this gives the signal to our subconscious that this desire, this specific person in this case, is very difficult to have. They're impossible to have. They're very hard to attain. It's going to be very, very difficult for me to be together with them and so on. And let me clarify something here for a second. When we say that I'm putting someone on a pedestal, it doesn't mean that there aren't traits about them that you love. It doesn't mean that there aren't traits about them that you admire and look up to. It doesn't mean you don't love them, you don't care about them, or you don't have feelings for them, or you're not thinking about them. It's none of these things. What putting someone on a pedestal actually means is that you are feeling less than them in one way or another, or in some cases, in multiple ways. You are somehow feeling that they are so unattainable for you, that they are so much better than you in one way or another, or in multiple ways, and essentially that you're not good enough for them, or that you're not worthy of having them, that you don't deserve to have them in your life, you don't deserve to be together with them. You feel inferior to them, in other words. And unfortunately, this makes your manifestation much harder if you are in a state like that, and if you are keeping your specific person on a pedestal, because by forming these assumptions and keeping yourself in that dominant state, you are telling your subconscious that this isn't something that is going to be easy to have. This isn't going to be a person that it will be easy for me to be together with. This is not a person that I deserve to be with. This is not a person that I'm worthy of being with. This is going to be difficult. This is going to require a lot of effort. This is going to require a ton of work for me to attain. In other words, you're telling your subconscious mind that my desire to be with my specific person, to have that happy, loving, committed relationship with them, is essentially unattainable. Or if not unattainable, very, very difficult, and it's going to be very hard, it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to take a lot of effort, and it's not going to be pleasant. So you really, really want to start getting out of that mindset, because at the end of the day, keeping your SP on a pedestal, in the sense that I just described, once again, I don't mean that you don't love things about them, that you don't admire things about them, that you don't love them, that you don't have feelings for them. This is not keeping someone on a pedestal. Keeping someone on a pedestal means that you feel they're unattainable in some way. And of course, this all comes back to you, and in reality, you not feeling worthy of having your specific person and of having your desire and of having that beautiful, loving, committed relationship with them. So today, I'm going to give you guys a very simple, very fun, even very funny method in some ways so that you can start taking your SP off the pedestal. And I also want to say something else here. Bear with me for a minute because this is important for the thing that is going to come next, for the thing that I'm going to tell you next. One huge reason why people keep their specific person on a pedestal, especially when they're separated, especially when they feel like their specific person is not returning their feelings, especially when they're in no contact or in situations like that, in other words, when you're not with your SP day to day, this unfortunately makes it much easier to put them on a pedestal because that distance that you have between you is actually making you idealize them. The fact that you don't see them every day, the fact that you, perhaps you don't live with them, the fact that you are noticing the distance between the two of you and their absence from your life makes you put them on a pedestal even more 
because you're not experiencing them as humans, as their human self and their human nature, the same way you would if you were now with your specific person, you were seeing them every day, you were living with them, you were married to them, and so on. The fact that you don't have them in your life, or maybe you have them intermittently, hot and cold, on and off, whatever your situation might be, is making you look at them from a perspective of idealization, from a perspective of magnifying their positive traits, from a perspective of thinking that they are so amazing, so ideal, almost superhuman. And so this is what I want to touch upon because it is very, very important and it actually has a lot to do with what we talk about very often about being in the state of the wish fulfilled. Being in the state of the wish fulfilled, you guys, means that you get yourself into a state where you feel like you already have your desire. You feel that naturalness, to use Neville's words and Neville's terms, about that whole desire that you have of being in a relationship with your specific person, being married to them, living with them, whatever it is that you're manifesting. And part of feeling natural about that actually involves taking them off the pedestal. And why is that? Because if you had your desire right now, if you were living with your SP full time, if you were married to them right now, if you were dating them full time and consistently, you would be experiencing them every day or at the very least, very, very often. You would come into contact with their human nature and their human self very, very often, if not daily, if not almost 24 seven. And what that does you guys, when you come into contact with someone all the time, is that it takes them off the pedestal. Why? Because you are going to experience all these parts of their human nature that do not make them as ideal after all. You are going to see them upset. You are going to see them moody. You are going to see them when they're having an off day. You are going to see them on days when they're sick and they're looking like crap. You are going to experience them wearing their sweatpants and their slippers at home, which is far from that sexy image that you are now building in your mind in their absence. To make this even more real, you may even experience, actually you will probably experience most likely, all their other functions of their human self. For example, you might hear them burp after a meal. You will experience them using the bathroom and you might experience any noises or any smells that come with that. You may experience them having body odor, for example, after a workout. I'm being deliberately very, very real here, not because I want to disappoint you, of course, but because I want to help you understand that who you have put on a pedestal is just a normal human being like you, like your family, like your friends, like me, like everyone else. And one of the big reasons you're keeping them on the pedestal right now is because of that distance that is making you idealize them, that is not allowing you to experience their human self. So what I wanted to encourage you to do today, if you're keeping your specific person on a pedestal, is to start thinking of them as their human self. To start imagining yourself spending every day with them and everything that comes with that. That means the good days and the bad days. That means the times when they're upset about something and they might take it out on you. That means the times when they don't look at their best. That means the times when they're sick and they're sneezing and coughing all over the place. So you guys, you need to start thinking of your specific person as their human self. And you need to start imagining yourself in the wish fulfilled. And guess what? That wish fulfilled involves all the things that I mentioned, plus a lot, a lot more. This is an excellent way to stop idealizing your specific person, to stop keeping them on a pedestal, to stop thinking of them as something unattainable, something amazing, something ideal, almost a godlike status. And it's an excellent way for you to start realizing that they are just a human being like any other human being on earth. And I don't care if they're famous. I don't care if they're ultra rich. I don't care if they're super successful. I don't care what traits or what attributes you are crediting them with that are making you think that they are so much superior than you. You really need to start thinking of them in their human self and as their human version, because that's what they are. They are a human like everyone else. Doing this will help you take them off the pedestal. It will help you start thinking of them in their human dimensions and it will help you to start loving them as their real self and not as the imagined, idealized, almost godlike self that your mind has created for them, which is not even real for any human person on earth. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, 
Take care and bye-bye.